This is Rod, and we're taking a look at your down memory lane memories for the second week of October of 1982. The memories in today's program are taken from articles of the Ledger County Mountain Eagle and Ledger County Community News Press of the second week of October of 1982. And it was during this week that the state police, the Letcher County Sheriff's Office, and members of the Letcher Fire and Rescue Squad are searching for a body they believe to be in the Kentucky River. On Wednesday morning of this week, a telephone company lineman told the police that he thought he saw a body floating down the river in Black, where he was working. But after an extensive search, no body was found. Letcher County... Sheriff Ben B. Taylor stated that the search began before noon and the river in the area was dragged and nobody has been found. Unemployment statistics were released this week showing that unemployment for Letcher County throughout the month of August remains high. With 2,059 persons officially listed as unemployed, with the Letcher County being the second highest unemployment rate in eastern Kentucky at 27.5%. Prairie County's unemployment rate is 16.5%, Knott County 24.4%, and Pike County 15.1%, Harlan County 20.4%, and Leslie County, 16.5%. It is announced this week that Ricky Skaggs will appear in concert on Thursday night at 8 p.m. at the Vessie Lane Fieldhouse. Tickets for the concert cost $8 for general admission and $10 for reserved seating. Hey folks, if you're receiving a Social Security check, you may be better off never seeing it. Or so says the Bank of Weisberg, which now has something new. It's called Direct Deposit, and it doesn't cost one red cent. It works like this. On a specified day of the month, the Social Security Administration automatically deposits your check in your banking account. Then you make withdrawals or write checks against that deposit. No more waiting for your check to come in the mail. No worry about it being stolen or lost. You know it's safe. It is in the bank. Just stop by the Bank of Whitesburg and get set up for the direct deposit option next time you're in town. And this has been your Down Memory Lane three-minute moment for the second week of October of 1982.